In my mind, Ashworth Middle School is unique because of the people, the faculty, the staff, but most importantly, the students. You know, the students come from various backgrounds, and we take each, anybody and everybody. You know, they may transfer into us, they may be coming from our feeder schools already, and when they get here, we try to create a culture that uh, they know that they have people that care about them. Uh, both academically, outside the classroom, athletically, band, music, whatever it may be. FFA, any top activity that the students get into, they're going to be uh, asked to participate because research shows when you're involved in something that's going to be a better uh, fit for the school and also most importantly the student that's going to be good for them. So that's the thing I love about Ashworth Middle School. This is going to be my, my sixth year total. I just finished my fifth. Uh, as principal at Ashworth, and I just think it's a great place, and I think it's a, a positive place for, for students. One of the interesting transitions that you're going to see as you come from elementary school to the middle school is you're going to have to keep up with a lot more stuff. And when you're keeping up with that stuff, you got to have somewhere to put it. So. We have a whole hallway full of lockers, and they're uh, extremely easy to get into. You simply put in the combination and you get the point, but it's easy. One of the things that I think you really get to experience when you come to middle school is the fact that there's so many new and fun and exciting connections classes that you can go to. If you like art, if you like drama, if you like singing, if you like band, we got it all here for you at Ashworth. Hey guys, this is Miss Grayson. I'm the chorus director at Ashworth Middle School, and I am so excited that you're gonna be joining us here next year. I just wanna to talk to you a little bit about chorus. It's super awesome, we have a lot of fun. There's lots of opportunities to do things. Uh, we go to All State, we go to District Honor Choir, there's sixth grade honor course. There's so many opportunities that you can do next year, and I just can't wait to see you in my classroom. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm Mr. Rodriguez. I'm the band director here at Ashworth Middle School and I can't tell you how excited I am to have you guys join our Ashworth family. One of the coolest things you could do at Ashworth is become part of the band. And you guys have already heard us go and play for you and talk about the different things. So really the only thing left to say is we hope you'll take time to sign up for band. We hope that uh, you'll be part of that and among the many other things that you can take part of here at Ashworth Middle School. And we're just really looking forward to having an awesome year with you. Peace. Here's I'm Mr. Q. I'm a science teacher here in the sixth grade hall, or science. I like to say that uh, my subject is right there outside your window, so you can start studying now. Just look out your windows as you play in the summertime. Um, as far as what to expect here, you've got a great group of teachers. We care about you. We will take our time to listen to you. You know, we have very stringent things we want you to do. Come ready. Come ready to work. But at the same time, know that with work, there's got to be some kind of good time. I like to have a good time, if you can't tell already. Very important in middle school to have good organizational skills because a lot of the teachers have you keep notebooks. We don't have a lot of textbooks in middle school. So it's important that you keep all your information from your notes and from things that you do in class in your notebook so that you can refer back to them. Um, keeping those things together, typically the kids that keep their notebooks together and are more organized have better grades and they tend to do better in middle school. One of the great benefits of being in sixth grade here at Ashworth is that you can keep up with your own grades. You and your parents can log on to Parent Portal and keep up with your grades and assignments due. So make sure you get your login, uh, work with your parents on that, and you can track your grades and your progress in class. The difference between elementary school and middle school is you become more independent. And we see a lot of struggle with sixth graders at the beginning of the year because it's hard with them with the struggles of homework and having to keep up with their studies. So we provide an agenda for you, which we highly recommend you using, writing down your assignments each day. Things that you might need to think about um, before you come to sixth grade in the fall, um, just expectations that we have. We expect you to have a pencil always, have more than one. Bring those with you, um, come prepared to class, not only with pencils, but also with your homework. We have high expectations for our students and expect you to get your homework finished every night and to study every night. Sixth grade is a different kind of beast than fifth grade and you have a lot more on your plate, but you also have a lot more independence. And so a big part of becoming a good successful sixth grader at Ashworth is knowing how to manage those responsibilities, knowing how to not only complete the work, but get it turned in on time and how to communicate with your teachers when you're struggling with the work or when you maybe have missed a day because you've been sick and you need to make up that uh, make up those assignments 
Um, we are here to help you. We are here to support you. We care about you. You're going to have a wonderful sixth grade year, but a big part of that depends on you and depends on the attitude of success that you bring to Ashworth Middle School. Hey everybody, I'm Miss Hunt and welcome to the Ashworth Media Center. I can't wait for you to come next year and check it all out. We have a lot of fun in here. We're open in the mornings before school so you can come in and enjoy some free time. We're open at lunch so you can come in and have some free time after you eat your lunch. Um, we've got lots of good fiction, non-fiction. We take student requests all the time so you can give me your suggestions about what you'd like to see. We have some play away books that are audio books. We have some e-books. So a little bit of everything. Um, we do have a library VIP club. You have to apply for that, but we'd love to have you be a part of that. I'm here to tell you about what all these upcoming sixth graders are gonna get to participate in at Ashworth Middle School. It's gonna be awesome. We have lots of sports that you get to participate in. In the fall, which is when you first come, we have cross country, which is a lot of fun running, softball, football, and golf, my personal favorite since I coach it. Then in the winter, we have basketball and wrestling. And then in the spring, we have soccer, track, and baseball. All those sports are offered to fifth graders that are coming into the sixth grade. There's also cheerleading, which a lot of times it goes year round because we have basketball and competition cheerleading and football. So it lasts all year. They have tryouts early in the uh, spring. So we're really looking forward to you coming up and having a great time with our athletics. And we do have a form that you need to be sure and tell your parents that you'll have to get completed to participate in the sports. And you have to have insurance, which is listed on this form, which also includes a physical from a doctor. So we look forward to seeing you there. And I'll see you in PE. All right, Ashworth Middle School students, the rising sixth graders, we're excited about you coming to Ashworth for the 2015-16 school year. So uh, have a great summer and a great vacation, but we're looking forward to getting started again in August. So go Warriors.